Hey, buy me a medium latte, please. It's ACP with Allison. Grab your coffee and let's go. A coffee run sounds simple, right? Well, what if I told an agent to do this? Does medium mean 12 ounces or 16? Hot or iced? Any milk preferences? Today, we're diving into one of the trickiest problems in agent payments. How do agents figure out what you actually want before spending your money? So here's the fundamental challenge. Humans communicate with context, assumptions, and shortcuts. We say, order my usual, or book a nice hotel, or get dinner delivered. But what does usual mean to an agent that's never ordered for you before? What's nice and what kind of dinner do you want? Capturing buyer intent is not just about what you say, but the actual goal behind your request. The agent needs to know what you want to accomplish, your preferences and constraints, the context of the request, and what good enough looks like to you. This is way harder than it sounds. So once the agent thinks it knows what you want, it faces a critical decision. Does it just go ahead and do it or check with you first? This is where intent validation comes in. There are different strategies here. Just to confirm, you want a 16 ounce full fat cold foam iced latte with an extra shot for $6.50? That's explicit confirmation. Would you like small purchases to go through automatically and require approval for purchases over $100? That's threshold based. I want to make sure that I have captured the correct order for you. Can you please confirm? And that's confidence scoring. The trade-off, convenience versus control. Ask too many questions and the agent becomes annoying. Ask too few and you're charged for things you didn't actually want. Getting this balance right is an art, not a science. Now, let's talk about ambiguous requests. Get me a gift for my mom. Okay, what is your mom like? What's the budget? What's the occasion? Find me a good deal on flights to Paris. Good deal by whose standards? Direct flights only? Any specific dates? The agent's job here is not to guess, it's to identify what information is missing, ask clarifying questions, offer options when there's a range of valid interpretations, and learn from your past choices. A well-designed agent acts like a thoughtful assistant, not a mind reader. So here's the key distinction. There's a massive difference between an agent recommending something and an agent executing it. Based on your preferences, here's the premium hotel for $200 per night, centrally located. That's a recommendation. I've booked you at the premium hotel for three nights for $600. That's an execution where it charges your card. See the difference? Once your agent has got this right, you can use the Agentic Commerce Protocol to make sure that your transaction has structure, limits, and accountability. ACP is the open standard for how agents and sellers talk when your money's involved. ACP standardizes creating, updating, and completing checkout with shared payment tokens. It enables responsible execution that agents stay transparent, sellers stay protected, and you stay in control. So bottom line, your agent should understand what you want, ask when it's unsure, and know when to suggest versus act, and transact securely using ACP. It's your money and your trust.